Young worshipers, come join me up front here. We're going to go over by the playground. You can sit on the step or sit out here. You are five now? Oh, my goodness. I don't even remember when I was five. <laughs> my, my birthday was in my birthday. Nice. Very cool. Well, look at all of you this morning. This is great. Isn't it fun to be here on Palm Sunday? We get to wave our palms. <laughs> Well, I don't know if all of you know me. You might have seen me serve communion. But, uh, yeah, uh, my name is Sue. And you know that, yeah, some of you know me. Anyway, I am one of the liturgical direct, uh, decorators of this worship space. That's a big word, isn't it? Well, Palm Sunday is a festival. And it's fun to wave our palms like the people did when Jesus rode in on the donkey in Jerusalem. So what's your favorite celebrations? Yeah, sure. My favorite Sunday is when uh, it is uh, uh, when I go to church and I get a toy in me and I wave it in the air and then I got the communion and then I want to end, end up in the door yeah, that, that is great. It's every, every Sunday. Yeah, every Sunday is pretty nice. Is it? <laughs> yeah. Anybody else have a favorite celebration they like? How about, yeah. Christmas, Christmas absolutely. Yeah, okay. Well, do you have a favorite season? Freya, what, say louder. You like winter. Cool. Uh, my Hold on, just a second. Oh, winter because it's your birthday. Yeah. Spring, nice. Emma, say it real loud. Summer, sure, absolutely. Okay. Oh, yeah. And what's your favorite season? When it's your birthday. Yeah. Well, do you know that the church has its own calendar? And it starts just after Thanksgiving. Yeah. <laughs> For real life. And this is the liturgical calendar. And we call seasons and colors that go with these seasons. So you probably noticed these really pretty banners up on the wall over here. And those are not just pretty colors, but they are the colors of the seasons. So if you look at the first banner there on the left side, that first color is blue. Does anybody remember what was going on blue here right after Thanksgiving? How about Advent? Yeah, Advent. And remember how many weeks we had Advent? Uh, yeah, how many? Yes, there were candles, right? Uh, getting close. How about remember the presents, the gifts? Uh, yeah, how many? Four, yeah. You uh, were almost getting to five, weren't we? No, I wasn't one of them. <laughs> I wasn't. There was a lot of them, weren't there? Okay, so anyway, we have four weeks of the blue, and then comes the white. I bet you can know what the white one was. Uh, 
No, after, after Advent, what comes after Advent? Gen, Gen, uh, Angelica. Well, what is the fifth candle for? It's Christmas. <laughs> yeah, so the white stripe is for Christmas. And then we have some green, and sometimes we use yellow too, and that's for Epiphany, another big word in the church. And epiphany is, remember, when the wise men came to see baby Jesus. And then there's another white strip, and that is transfiguration. Maybe you remember the Bible story that we had a few weeks ago that was Jesus on the mountaintop with the disciples. And the disciples kind of freaked out. <laughs> and lastly is purple. So we should remember what purple was, right? What did we just finish? Lent, exactly right. So now we're going to move to that second banner, and there's a red strip. And what do you know? There's a black strip, and our pyramid on the altar is red and black. I'm wearing red and black. Anybody know what that might mean? You got an idea, Asher? You're right. It, we're just going to finish Lent, but now we're going to say this is Holy Week. Holy Week. So that red one re represents Monday Thursday. And there's another big word. But Monday just means the day that Jesus gave us a mandate to do communion. And some of you kids today are going to say, do this for the remembrance of me, right? So the black one... After the Monday, Thursday service, there's going to be a big black cloth that goes over the cross. And then everything's taken away. And we remember the next day, Good Friday, the day Jesus died for us on the cross. And then the yellow one comes right after. What's that going to be? It's happy because it's Easter. Easter. And then we have a bunch of white, and that's the Easter season. I don't know if there'll be a yellow present. <laughs> um, but then there's a small red strip, and that's the third big festival of the church. Does anybody know what that is? I'll give you a hint. It's 50 days after Easter. It's called Pentecost. Pentecost, you guys know pentagons in your math class, huh? Yeah? Pen <laughs> it is a little advanced there. Okay, and then look at that, all that green. Oh my goodness, there's so much green. And this is the time after Pentecost, or sometimes we just call it ordinary times, and we learn about Jesus' ministry. And that goes from June to October. Well, I appreciate you listening because this is a lot of liturgical information. But to remember this, I'm going to give you each a liturgical calendar to take home. And I might have enough, but we might have to share them in families, okay? Um, but um, will you help me by closing in prayer? And we'll, you can repeat after me, okay? Heavenly God, thank you for... Thank you that you can see our seasons in these colors. Thank you that you can see your colors in these seasons. Thank you for those people that made our decorations. Thank you for those people that made our decorations that help us know that you are with us, that help us know that you are with us. Amen. All right. Thank you.